Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novara Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Dark Cloud as part of the Elite Six series. So last time we cleared another two levels of the Gallery of Time, along with a brand new enhanced weapon for Tone. We got him an enhanced version of the Sun Sword known as the Big Bang, and so we're gonna make use of it as we continue on within our journey as we move on to 140 years ago. So this will be our 10th floor. So we still need to go 260 floors to the end and we are going to get thirstier quicker again. Thankfully I do have the requisite amount of water. So hopefully that will not be an issue. Check all this stuff out. So, um, well, I guess I should probably cover this one last section that I did not notice until just now. Mm, wow. Okay. Osmond, change over. Ah. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Crap. Yeah, we'll just burn a magazine on you. And then we'll burn a magazine on the living armor because he has absolutely no idea that I'm beating the crap out of him. And I'm gonna get some help out of here as well. And go there, Osman. Keep going. Down. And we can upgrade the weapon again. That's what we're looking for. Satisfied with what I see, so upgrade. Alright. Okay, so let's go ahead and use an Endurance 3 on this thing, because this is one of the few weapons that does not have much in terms of an attribute there. And then let's go ahead and use some of our attack plus 1. Okay, it's maxed out now at 55. Alright. What, what else can we add to this? Um, what else can we add? Let's add more ice. And we're gonna take advantage of the fact that there is a water area. But before we do that, let's get the treasure chest first. And it turned out to be a good thing that I came this way first, rather than the other direction that I chose. Yeah, I was thinking that I was already as far left as I could possibly be. Turns out that wasn't the case. Let's go ahead and refresh everyone. So that we're not heavily reliant on having to use water. Alright, there we go. Now that we've gone around the horn, let's go across the gap again. So yeah, I, I was expecting I would see more um, zones where I would be issued a handicap. That hasn't been the case so far. And as it turns out, this was possibly a good idea. Ooh. More living armor. Gotta dump that magazine on him. He needs something to read. And we got the clock hands, alright. Oh. <laughs> Gonna try and be sneaky, huh? I'm afraid not, sir. Oh, and now we got the Joker. Why so serious? <laughs> eh, you knew I had to. You knew I had to. Alright, got the compass. Wow, they stuck all the Atla in one room. Like, that's, that's so ridiculous, random number generator. Why would you do that? And there's also a key involved. What makes you think I had to come over here anyway? Alright, let's go by the Heath Ledger. And then put a magazine through his heart. Well, he's dead. Al he's already dead. And I am having a hard time shooting through him. Okay, let's go ahead and use the... Uh... Actually, I'll use the premium. No reason not to. Um, 
top of that, we need to take even more repair powder. Let's change back over also um, to tone. Yeah, don't be don't be afraid. I won't hurt you much. <laughs> oh, and there's another place for me to refresh myself. Hey, you never know until you get into the room. Um, we need another Drance Feather. And because I have so many of these, I've never had to buy a Drance Feather throughout the entire duration of this game. I've found them all in treasure chests. And there it goes. Open up the chest. There's the map. Unnecessarily. Oh, turns out the key wasn't even necessary. Turns out we didn't even need the key. But, yeah, hey, you never know until you reveal all the map. Yeah, I was about to say, where's my keyhole? Give me the exclamation point so that I can have my keyhole. Yeah, because I must know what's in here. Oh, it's you again. And you're dead. And then more living armor. So, Osmond, if you would be so kind. There we go. Oh, Mimic, huh? Well, we know who this belongs to. Goro, have some fun. Have some fun there, buddy. And down he goes. And let's go back to where we were so we can get refreshed again. Ah, don't you just love it when the random number generator gives you a hand? Alright, let's go. Cross that gap. And then onward to the next area because, yeah, they stuck all three Adla in the same room. Wow. Random number generator definitely wasn't my friend on this floor. I noticed that there's still enemies around, so let's have Tone pound the crap out of them. And dead it is. It is dead. And last enemy here. There we go. Might as well use another repair powder while we're here. Alright. Perfect. Now, let's get our three Atla. Crazy that they put all of them here. And the first one, a black robed man. Another one? Well, actually the first thing we found was a wizard, but the black robed man is likely the guy who gave our good friend Seda the thing that he needed to summon the Dark Genie. And then open up Atlas number three, containing a fort. Is it like a... Uh, I was gonna say, is it like a kid's fort? Like you make it out of random materials? Or you stick it in either in your parents backyard or you stick it in the middle of the woods? Anyway, let's go back over to the end of this place. Because we're done here now. So let's go ahead, jump those stairs, and stick some clock hands on here. Perfect. So we're done on this floor, so let's move on to the next one. So how much further will we go back on the next floor? Let's find out. We arrive at 151 years ago, so yeah, this this place will definitely take longer to complete. And we have a diamond. Okay, and we have another gap for crossing for Osmond, but before we do that, let's go ahead and um, upgrade. Upgrade our current weapon. Alright, there we go. And so now, we'll go ahead and 
continue to build up the attack. I'm gonna need to find some gems. Um, I could probably buy some off the Fairy King that have to do with attack power, because I think there are some that do specialize in that sort of thing. Okay, let's go... Oh, yeah, this, this gap is just calling out to me, so we might as well get rid of it first. Could be the right decision, could be the wrong decision, you never know. Alright, we got a spade, um... Oh, Gaga, come in here, let's get a few licks. Ouch! Oh, you got yourself down, and now you're accompanied by hearts, and I'm almost dead! Correction, I am. Ah. I really have to learn to use the right guy for the job, and I'm discovering that that guy is not Umgaga. Which is a shame, because I was really hoping to get a lot of good use out of him. Alright, Umgaga, come back to us. Yeah, it's really a shame. In fact, I should probably... Um, have Zhao take a few shots at the hearts. Because she can, because yeah, they're they're attacking from range. Oh, yeah, and you turn away and cower. Yeah, hearts are definitely magic casters. Then let's go ahead and have Tom finish this one off. There we go. Okay, so I guess we're fine then. Let's go over to the far end. And it's you again. Yeah, take your scythe elsewhere. And now, is there a turn club? Oh, clock hands. There we go. Got that all taken care of. That's another heart. Sorry. Gotta move on. Gotta rip you apart. Well, we're definitely covering the left side very well. And I just walked rain by rain right by chest. Got the map. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go around the horn again. Get everyone refreshed. Um, girl, you needed some too. And then on Gaga. Yeah, because it just feels so bad for you. It, ha it has not been a good run. Let's switch over to Tone. Yeah, it's not been a good run for Ungaga in the Dark Heaven Castle. We get Dark Power. No, we don't want the Dark Power. We already have the Power of Alamelia, that's enough for us. And we got Premium Chicken. Alright, now that we've covered the entire left side of the level, let's go over and check out the entire right side. Because there will be implementation of key, so we're going to need to make use of a key at some point. Um, let's get rid of you first. Ah, you're going to be like that, huh? Ah, too bad for you. Right, you're down, and then Diamond, you're down with him. Uh, oops, <laughs> don't forget your money. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, they're bringing the whole deck on this floor. Yeah, they're, they're giving us all 52 playing cards on this level. There's the key. So let's go ahead and use it right now, since it's so conveniently close by for us to use it. There we go. Alright, let's open up this door. Let's find that pitch dark key. There you are. Inside. My heart. Yeah. And now you have no heart. Well, you have no heart from the beginning because you were beating me up. <laughs> but who am I to who am I to talk about that? Okay. Zhao, be my test dummy. Oh, all right. I like when that happens. Especially on Xiao, because she hasn't had much luck with increasing the, um, endurance of her weapon. Well, there's the finish. But we're not done here yet. 
Um, Tone, if you would be so kind. Ah, I took a hit. I took a hit. That's a shame. And then Heart, you're next. You're dead. Two of them? Oh, wow. How do you choose? Um, well, let's have Tone get the two Atla first after he kills this heart. And there it goes. Alright. Yeah, you don't want to cut the Atla open, you just have to touch it and then it'll open. You don't have to be aggressive with it. Blood agreement. Ooh. That's gonna be a big deal, obviously. And then in here... Black blood. It's all about the blood, suddenly. Two chests and two random effect circles. Open it up. Okay. Ruby, you be my test dummy this time, because you haven't had any love this episode. Pumped with energy. Monster is pumped with energy. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter that it's the monsters, because the monsters are all dead. Alright, let's go ahead. We might as well... We have enough time. I think we'll add a third floor to today's episode. So let's turn the clock back some more. And move on to the next one. Because, yeah, we haven't reached halfway yet. We still need to do a bit of work in order to get there. 162 years ago, so... Yeah, they're taking us slow and steady to get us to at least halfway. Alright, Rash. We'll cut you down like we've always done. And then... Ah, suddenly so many random effect circles. Umgaga. Oh, nice. Which means that his weapon can be upgraded right away. <laughs> How convenient is that? Now, we haven't had much use of him here, but we might as well make use of it now. Alright, let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna put this stuff next. He does not max out at 99, which is good. Alright, there we go. Right, I'm satisfied with that. Let's go back over to Tome. I found the exit. Now let's check over here. Oh, more hearts. Oh, you're getting a bit of elusive on me. Well, you know what? Let's have, because she hasn't had much love yet this episode, Ruby, you have stamina. Pick up the heart for me. I did already drop the clock hands as I stun lock Rash Dasher. Nope, it didn't do that. It did give me an, an anti curse unit that I can sell off though. Open up here, we have the map. And so, yeah, pretty much like the previous floor, everything's all on one side until I get the map, and then I have to go to everything on the other side. But let's see what's over here first. Yeah, why not? Go for it. Stun lock the. Oh, I can't stun lock the heart! So it can avoid being stun locked. Alright, good to know. Um. Go! Take a few licks. Oh, he got me. <laughs> he got me while not even looking at me. Oh, wow. I am taking some hits out here. Looks like you'll need some cheese there, Goro. Alright, come on, finish him off. There we go. Now he's dead. Oh, well, there is an enemy in here, but we need Tone to touch the Atla that is right over here. And we still have two enemies to deal with, actually, at least. In here, we have another wizard. Alright, Heath. Yeah, come on, Heath. Don't be a jerk! Crap. That's not good. That is never good. Alright. Open it up. 
I've got a baton, more fish bait. Oh, it's you again. Oh, this time I got ya. 433 points of strike, which is impressive. Let's see what's in here. More fish bait. Ah, uh, you guys and your fish bait. Okay, now let's go ahead and cover the other side, because we have not yet found the clock hands. Oh, we have one of these locks, okay. Then, Ruby, this goes to you, and I can clearly see that this is ice. That is your... that's not currently your active attribute, so let's go ahead and make it your active attribute. Yeah, no wonder I couldn't stun lock them, because I didn't have ice active. Okay, Tone, over to you, buddy. Yeah, I can't see you, but I know I'm killing you. <laughs> Alright, so he is clearly required to get over there. So then let's go over this way. That's Rash again. Actually, I want to know, where are Sits and Pimple? <laughs> yeah, those of you know what I'm referring to, good job. And in here, there's our pitch dark key. In the meantime, let's go ahead and enhance our weapon further. There we go. Alright, now it's up to 117. Okay. He's maxed out on Undead Killer, so we might as well add some Sky Hunter. Not that it usually matters to Sky Hunter because that stuff is usually going to get handled by the girls. Alright. Ooh, big chest. Well, I have a... If it is actually a weapon, then at least I have three, ch three keys. Let's open the little one first. And see what's inside. Well, there's the compass, and there's where my Atla are. Alright, moment of truth. It is a treasure chest. Please be a good weapon. Please don't be a duplicate. It's not a duplicate! It's a new weapon for Mr. Goro. Let's take a look at what he just got his hands on. The Last Judgment. 99 attack, 45 endurance, 48 speed. 55 magic points. Hell of a strong hammer loved by the gatekeeper of hell. Yeah, I, I can see that. But it has fragile on it, though. Okay, that's weird. It does give you 10 of everything. But, yeah. This thing's gonna... Bl and it has really strong undead and three others, but... Holy cow. This might not necessarily be a weapon I would want to use. Because, yeah. Unless I was able to find something that had the durable attribute on it, then I would be fine, but... No, not the case. In fact, I might want to just stick to using the battle axe once I'm all said and done on this... Um, level. Okay. Ogaga, you've been having it pretty rough this floor, so be my test dummy. Yes! Funds increase the weapon level again? That usually means that it doubles. I have over 40,000 gold coins. That's awesome. I have over 40,000 gold coins, and I know I'm going to burn it on a lot of gems. Because I can afford to at this point. Okay, so let's go ahead and use my pitch dark key. Because, yeah, shockingly, we have not yet found the clock hands. We have not yet found the clock hands. This is... Well, we'll give this one to Xiao because she doesn't really get to enjoy jumping anymore. So do your thing there, Xiao. Alright. There we go. Ah, it's you again, Rash. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the Dark Queen, but I'm still gonna hurt you just as badly. Just like I'll whip out your heart and make you 
regret messing with me. There we go. Last enemy gives the clock hands. Alright. Let's take our two Atla for this floor. Once again, both in the same room. We got a castle. And on the other side, we are going to get our hands on this thing, whatever it is. It's going to be a light. Alright. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay. Might as well use a premium water. There we go. And now that we've taken care of that, let's be on our way out of this particular area. Osman, do you take care of it? You get us over the gap. And then take us all the way back to the other side. <laughs> yeah, that, that can be a bit of a frustration when you clear out all the enemies and you find the thing that you need to leave a level, but the way you need to escape is by going to the complete opposite side. Alright, three more levels down. So yeah, we're definitely making good progress on our journey. Still haven't reached halfway though yet. But I guess we'll reach it eventually. So, now that we've taken care of that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, experiment with the Fairy King to... Well, actually I can look up a guide to see what type of gems can be used to build up the Big Bang even further because I know for a fact that it's something that will definitely be required as I continue to make my journey and with over 40,000 gold coins there will certainly be no um, lack of funds, at least not right now, to build up that stat. And so we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here and with that I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Dark Cloud. And when I join you again, we will continue to make our way through the Gallery of Time in the hopes that we will be able to at least get ourselves to half distance. Hopefully we'll reach it sooner rather than later, but as it's shown so far, and this is something we expected, this place is going to be a big one. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novor Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.